Round number three of a scheduled 15 round lightweight championship bout. The champion, Perry Arroyo on the left in goal. The challenger, Jimmy Paul from Detroit, Michigan in white. And a good contingent here from Youngstown, Ohio, hometown of the champion. They've been following him here to Atlantic City for his most recent fights. He's built quite a following in the town that Ray Mancini owned and still does to a great extent. The former lightweight champion, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, two outstanding young boxers from Youngstown, Ohio. The second round, Jimmy Paul was able to land a good, clean right hand, solid right hand on the chin of Harry Roy, and Roy didn't even budge, didn't even flinch. So which tells you something, that he has a pretty good chin. It also tells you that Arroyo is now aware of the fact that Jimmy has that right hand. Most of Arroyo's camp didn't really want him to take Jimmy Paul as a substitute for Raman Blake. They had great respect for this young man. And Arroyo said, if he's better than I am, he should have a chance to become the champion. I'm confident I can beat him. That's what boxing's all about, Tim. I wish all, I wish all these other champions had that same attitude. Boxing would be in much better state right now. I see both of these guys are really thinking and very concentrating because uh, Aurora, he's trying to figure out how to get inside of Jimmy Paul, and Paul is basically doing the same thing. Very good defense. Excellent defense. Two really good, intelligent, strategic boxers in the lightweight division, Arroyo and Paul. Very similar to each other in style and attitude. Solid left jab by Paul, trying to follow with a combination. Another good quality I see in both fighters, Tim, is the, the composure. Very content with what they're doing. Very professional fighters here. Jimmy Paul was a college student at Wayne State University in Detroit. Wayne State Community College, I believe it's called. And oh, there now it goes the Royal. There's that right hand, Tim. The right, right hand on the button. Ball. That's Arroyo. the right hand we were talking about. Still dazed, too, as he gets up. He had a flash knockdown against Terrence Ali. He came back to knock out his opponent. Let's see how he rallies here against Paul. Well, uh, Arroyo's on his toes. Now he's moving, which means he is hurt. That right hand uh, did a lot of damage. There it is again. Now, Paul can't get uh, over anxious because he can run into something himself. No, Harry isn't looking to pitch back right now, Ray. Under 30 seconds remaining in round three. There's no sting at all on Roy's punches. He's still a little wobbly. And, and Tim, that wasn't Paul's best right hand. It was a counter right hand. Gil a beautiful time punch. Coming to the end of round number three. All right, we're back looking in the corner of the champion, Harry Arroyo, who uh, took a right hand from the challenger, Jimmy Paul. Let's go back and see that shot. Came out of nowhere, which is usually the case with Paul. Good, short, sharp right hand, a counter, and down went Arroyo. And remember, uh, that happened early in the bout against Terrence Ali in his last outing. He came back to score an 11th round knockout. Jimmy Paul certainly has got the champion's attention. Ready for round number four. Harry Arroyo from Youngstown, Ohio, defending his title. His third title defense of the IBF lightweight crowd. And Tim Arroyo is still shaking his head. That certainly has to be a confidence builder for Jimmy Paul. He knows what he can do with Harry now. You see, now you'll see a change in pace on Jimmy, on Jimmy Paul. He's very confident now. He's aware that he can put uh, Harry Arroyo down. The first right hand he threw in the very first round didn't do too much damage. Now he's starting to get leverage on his punches. He's freewheeling, Ray. Bill Clancy, Sugar Ray Leonard, and Jim Ryan live from Valley's Park Place Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Paul is a completely different fighter than Terrence Ali, the last guy that the Harry Arroyo fought. Terrence was all action coming to, coming to Harry, which is the kind of fighter that Arroyo likes. Paul is very, very patient, good balance, lets Harry make the mistake, and then nails him. You know, get that right hand of Paul is going to constantly land because Arroyo is straight up. And the minute he stops dropping, well, Arroyo stops dropping that left hand, that right hand's going to come over. Right, when Paul can get away with ring, winging that right hand the way he just did then and doesn't have to pay for it, Ray, he might as well throw them all night long. Harry has to make him pay when he makes a miss. There it is again. He threw the right hand, missed, but nothing happened. No return from Arroyo. Also, when Paul throws that right hand, he should come back with the left hook. He should finish up with something. 
And again, right there was a right hand underneath, no left hook. Arroyo with the big right hand, but it was picked off by Paul. These guys, these guys are starting to measure each other from left jab. It seems to me, though, that Harry Arroyo is leaving himself open, leaning in with punches. Under a minute to go. We're in round number four, scheduled for 15. Just there it is again, that big right hand. That right hand. Ar Arroyo is leaning to his right and allowing Paul to just throw a counter right over that left hand. Shouldn't do that. That one just grazed Arroyo, but he has been down. If he joined us and missed the knockdown, it came in round three by the challenger, Jimmy Paul and White. I don't like what Paul is doing, Tim, because he's throwing his punches and he put his both feet together. He's off balance and he can go down. Under 30 seconds to go, round number four. There's that left hook behind the right hand, Ray. Harry Arroyo, beautiful left hook. Right hand scored by the champion. Time winding down, round number four. There again, the feet of Jimmy Paul coming together. It's a very bad habit. Round number five, the champion Harry Arroyo, the challenger Jimmy Paul, Paul and White. And we have had an action packed early going here. A knockdown in round three by the challenger Paul. Arroyo seems to have recovered from that, and he digs to the body now. Now, those type of combinations, the, the body shots, they really take their toes in the later round. But you got to put punches together, not one punch. These guys are really trying to load up with one big punch. It's not going to work that well. The left jab is the key to uh, setting the man up. The thing I don't like that's happening with Harry Arroyo right now is he's giving Jimmy Paul too many free shots. Jimmy throws that right hand, he's off balance, wide open, misses, and Harry doesn't count. He's not quick enough to count it. You know, Gil, what I see in Harry Roy, Paul needs to count those punches. Wait, when uh, Harry throws his jab, you notice where he drops it. That's right, Ray. Ray he should not throw one jab. He's throwing that one jab, and there he just did it again. And he right has hand, to double up that jab. The right hand of Paul should follow him back. Follow that jab back. Well, that will be the end of the fight, Ray, if that happens. <laughs> Again, we get back to that statement that Arroyo made. He's on the champion. He's going to have to come to me to win the title. And that may be very good but in, in his thinking, but it isn't the way he should be fighting Jimmy Paul. He should be putting pressure on Paul because Paul is a, one of these real patient guys who will explode all of a sudden. Arroyo landed the overhand right in the last exchange. Under a minute to go. We're in round number five, scheduled for 15. There's that right hand again. I like those left jabs to the body by uh, Jimmy Paul. Well, he don't do too much damage, but at least he's scoring. Well, that's that's the way that Harry Arroyo knocked out Terrence Ali. If you remember, he jabbed to the body, and Ali dropped his hands, and bang, and the fight was over. Maybe Jimmy Paul trying to set Arroyo up the same way. Under 30 seconds to go in the fifth round. Tim Ryan, Gil Clancy, Sugar Ray Leonard. Live from Atlantic City. Glory by Arroyo. Not much damage done. Oh, oh big right hurt. hand by Paul. Right on the chin. Did Arroyo holding on as time winds down here in the fifth. Well, right down the pipe. That's the what Paul puts you to sleep and then nails you.